The Lyric Theater is a staple in our community, a very important hub of culture, and Lexingtonians, young and old, want to be part of it. Tyler Melito is there this morning with one artist who has been providing the chance to do just that. That is right. Good morning once again, Christian Adair, Interim Executive Director here. Christian, talk to me about this, this art outside here. It's great art, but it's part of a bigger campaign for y'all here, inspiring the community. Talk to me a little bit about that. We've been talking about diversity, equity, or diversity, inclusion, and inspiration. Well, the lyric, we want to reach out into the community and having our first banner set up here with art and using a, a, a great artist to inspire others, we're going to start a program where we're going to allow those in the community to submit art to us and possibly get on the wall so they can inspire others as well. So we want our young local artists to know that they have a platform here. And this would be our first example of that going right now. Bryce O'Quay from the Mad Hundreds. Awesome art. We'll get to that in a second. But talk to me about how awesome it is to be able to put your art on the side of a lyric theater in a community that you've been a part of for such a long time. Yeah, it's, a, it's an amazing full circle moment. Uh, this, uh, the Lyric Theater holds a real special place for me because it was one of the first spaces where I could put together, uh, you know, art, comic related workshops and stuff for the kids and uh, really showcase myself as an artist, be kind of recognized as a creator in, in this space amongst my community. And uh, I, started, I started here and now I get to kind of move into another space here. It's, it's amazing. And quickly, before before we go, you were mentioning that some of the details in here ties back to your family's culture to the Caribbean. Talk to me a little bit about that. Yeah, so uh, I get asked sometimes about the ghosts and stuff that's in my artwork, the the, the things with the gnarly mouths. So uh, my family uh, has uh, Caribbean roots, and they're called duppies. So duppies are directly connected to your ancestors. They're black ghosts, and they're representatives of your ancestors, both in, in positive and negative ways, depending on what the story entails. Awesome stuff, indeed. Well, it's beautiful once again. If you want to check it out yourself, check, come down to the Lyric Theater. It's going to be up here for the next six months. You won't want to miss it. For Fox 56 News, I'm Tyler Moto, guys.